I'm back and I've just made a scrunchie out of the fabric that I've used for my pouches. So I've done two pouches now. These ones are actually the smaller size. So I'm not sure if you know the whole story, but basically I made a bigger size and it was just like a little bit flimsy. So I decided to make two smaller ones, which are kind of nice anyways, because then you can use them like for multi-use. So you can use them as a pencil case, as like a self-care pouch, makeup pouch, toiletry bag, um, all sorts of different kinds of things. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so the inside. So I've named these fabrics. So this one is Isla. So this will be called the Isla pouch. And then it's got uh, this beautiful fabric here, which I've just made out into a scrunchie. And this one's going to be called the Fallon fabric. And yeah, so I've just done the scrunchie. It looks so, so pretty and cute. I love the white background actually. I don't really have like a whitish one. Like I've got more of a creamy one here, but this one's a really nice kind of white background with the florals. And then I've also got some more to do at the moment. So I've got some more here. Sorry, my son's in the background. And then I've also got some spare Isla fabric that I'll be turning into scrunchies as well. And yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Hi everyone, I have just come back and I've gotten myself one of these little corner shelves, which I think will be great. Um, I'm just whispering a little bit because my son's asleep. Don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a bit of organization with you guys and put a few sewing supplies in there, some of my products maybe, and yeah, make it look really nice. And then I've also gone to Spotlight. You might have seen some footage with that. And I grabbed a few materials um, to make some more of those pouches. So that'll be really, really exciting. And yeah, let's just get into the organization. <laughs> Okay, so here's a tour. It's looking good at the moment. It's meant to be quite functional, but I do have this little, um, what do they call it, terrarium here and a nice um, kind of fragrance going there. Um, what do they call it, reed diffuser? And then I've got my materials here um, that I use. So I've got like interfacing, I've got some extra materials. Um, I've got like this pillowcase, which I use as like the bottom of like ironing sometimes, which is, I really need to get just a normal iron, but at the moment, I'm at ironing table. But at the moment, I've got just my iron there, um, some fabrics, and I also need to add in my new ones from Spotlight. Um, which I will do a little haul in a second with that. I've also got um, a basket full of mini scrunchies. So these ones um, I have been either giving away to like orders or um, I really want to actually fill this up and then take it to a market and then just have like almost like a little sale basket um, of like mini scrunchies. And then um, over here, I've just got packing boxes and my ruler. And in here, I kind of wanted it to be like my packing station slash, I don't know, like get things out for my sewing stuff. So at the moment, I've just got bags, bubble wrap and tissue paper for um, packaging up my orders. And I've also got, um, this is where I keep my like uh, labels and also like stickers for orders. Um, and then I've also got um, this thing, which I need to get like a proper <laughs> like basket that's maybe a bit prettier. But at the moment, I just use this to like pop in like all sorts of things, like things I've already cut, um, like my scissors, my fabric scissors, um, like some elastic, some zips, like my pins. I've also got like bobbins and stuff under here somewhere. Um, see over there. Got some bobbins 
And just like everything that I need to like just grab and go and like just grab the whole thing and use for sewing. I've got extra pegs here for my pegboard. Um, I've got these knitting things which I use to like flip my um, mini scrunchies because I don't use the burrito method with my mini scrunchies. So I need like something long and tall to like flip it. I can do another video on that if you want as well. These are my business cards in here and I've also got some twine for packaging orders. But yeah, that's kind of like my packing station I've decided. And yeah, that's looking pretty good next to my um, scrunchie board. I was going to put my pouches in there. That pouch is already sold actually. I just need to package it up and send it out. But um they did really, really well. I'm not sure if like I said anything about it, but basically um, I put like a 20% off sale, which is still going at the moment. It ends um, on Wednesday and today is Monday. Um, so we've got about a day and a bit um, to go and they've done really, really well. So they're pretty much all sold out. I've got enough to do one more in that fabric. Um but yeah, I've just bought some other fabric, which I'll be doing another type of like makeup pouch as well. But my scrunchies are looking all right. I reorganized it all. So it, you've got your regulars over here and your XLs over here. And yeah, it's looking all right at the moment. I'm just focusing on the pouches for now. But let's get into a haul. Okay, let's get into the spotlight haul. I got myself some of this fabric, which you would have seen. I've already got in a scrunchie. So this one's called the Amelia scrunchie. So it's just the Amelia fabric. And I might use this for the outside because I find the outside of the pouch, it's better to go like with the bigger florals. Um, but that one's really, really nice. I've got half a meter of that, which I'll probably be able to make like maybe three or four but I try to just make like maybe a couple and then use the rest of the fabric for scrunchies as well so that way I'm getting kind of both out of the fabric I also grabbed the Eden fabric so we've got an Eden um, scrunchie and I decided to get the Eden fabric because I thought these two would probably go quite nicely together um, and I got half, uh, yeah, half a meter of that as well. And then, yeah, that could be the lining. And then I was trying to match up zippers. I really didn't want to do like a pink zipper again, but I did kind of go with a pink zipper again, just cause it matched the most with these two. And I kind of wanted that contrast, um, see like that, it kind of looks quite nice. So, um, yeah, I kind of went with a peachy one it's it's called peach so it's a little bit different this one is the light pink zipper um but yeah maybe maybe for my next one I'll do a different color zipper but none of the other colors like match this as much I was gonna do like maybe white or cream like see there's a bit of cream in there green they didn't have the right type of green to match this so I thought like peach would kind of go with these flowers here um, and yeah, I grabbed, I grabbed two of them. So I've got two here and these fabrics. So that's my little mini haul for you guys. Um, and I think the plan for today is to, I guess I just went rummaging through my stuff to see what fabrics I have left to do. So I've got one more pouch to do for the Isla pouch. And then I've also got some off cuts, which I will use for scrunchies. And can I just say, I don't know if I've already said this already, but this Fallon scrunchie is so cute. I love it so much. I actually kind of want one for myself. So I might do that before they sell out. And then I also made the Isla um, scrunchie as well, which is super cute too. So I've got a few more scrunchies to do. Uh, let me just see. Oh, we've got a mini. So this one's a mini. I have to like look at what it looks like. I'm like, is that a mini that I cut out or was it a regular? But I've got, yeah, two more regulars. 
and one mini to do. And then the eyelid pouch. And then I've got to cut this fabric and get this fabric ready for um, some pouches and possibly some scrunchies left over as well. So that's my job for probably this week. Um, and I've also got to pack this order. So she did like such a beautiful order. So she ordered um, this eyelid pouch. Um, what else did she order? I think she ordered a... Um, Lila scrunchie, almost called it Isla, and yeah, I can't remember the rest, but she got quite a big order, so I might have to use one of my big boxes, which is kind of going to be fun to do, um, and yeah, I will insert a clip of me packing some orders, and then yeah, get into the sewing. So we've got our first order here, which I'm just covering at the moment, and she did end up getting a discount, which is really, really great. So we've got these things here that we will be looking for in my scrunchie board. So the first one is the pouch. She ordered the last pouch here, and then we've also got, she would like the Summer XL, which is all over here. This one's really, really pretty. And then she also wants the Lila Regular. This one's a beautiful purple and also the Ava Regular. So that's really pretty. Super nice. So this next order, um, I am doing the Wild Rose Extra Large and also the um, regular uh, Eden. So this one's just going to be a smaller order, so I just use paper bags for that. Um, they're just from Coles, And yeah, let's start packing. So I've just popped out of the shower. Um, don't mind the laundry going and my son watching something on the TV. But um, I thought I would update you guys on what's um, been happening. So if I can get it, I made another Isla pouch, uh, which is really, really good. So, But that's the rest of my fabric that I've got. So I might have to go to Spotlight and get some more. Um, currently... I am cutting out this fabric and I've got to do this fabric too um, to make a new pouch um, with some different colours. So this pouch will be called the Amelia pouch. Um, and then I also, yesterday night, I cut out a lot of interfacing to the right shape so that way I don't have to worry about cutting out all that interfacing. I can just quickly grab and go and iron it on. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to like map it out so I do have some left for scrunchies. Um, I am running low with the regular because I did have a sale with that. So um, I've only got one regular left. So it would be great if I had some extras for the regular. And even if it's just like extras for the mini as well. Because um, I'm running low on them too because I like to give them out for freebies. Um... And yeah, that's basically the update. Tomorrow I am taking Gabby to kindy and then um, I need to drop off the car for a car service at 8 a.m. So it's like quite an early one. Um, but then after that, um, I pretty much have the whole day, which is so nice. I love days like um, tomorrow. So I need to make a to-do list of what I need to do tomorrow. I probably do need to go to actually now that I'm mentioning it, I do need to go to Spotlight because I've ran out of the regular, um, what I use for elastic for regulars. So um, I use the thin elastic, which I've kind of run out. And I'm also almost run out of the wide, wide elastic, which I use for extra large. So 
I need to get some more elastic and they're only three dollars for like a whole bunch of it I think it's like nine meters or something or five meters or something like that um, I think the extra large what I use for extra large so the white elastic I think that one has less meterage in it but anyways I need to grab them they're pretty cheap and then I probably will end up with some fabric <laughs> it's like my weakness now but um I was thinking because I'm looking at all my colors at the moment and I'm like what colors don't I have and I think like I don't have much yellow I've got like this which is got like maybe orangey yellows in it but not really like a yellow scrunchy or a red but I'm not sure if they're like my vibes I don't know because I want like everything I make to be what I love um yeah so we'll just see about that see what I run into tomorrow and then yeah tomorrow I probably will be gonna try to make like another pouch at least or two and then some scrunchies and kind of just get up to date with that. Um, I do need to, I'll show you guys over here. Don't mind my mess. Um, so this is what I've got going at the moment. It's actually going really well. I trialed a bath salt with um, the jasmine green tea, which I did a bath bomb in, that green bath bomb there. And I thought I would trial it in a um, bath salt, so I've called it Uplift. Um, and yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, I've only got one of those, so I only had one jar left. So that's what I've got at the moment. Um, and I think I might get another one of these stands. They're from Kmart and they were like $7, like a dessert stand or something. So I might get another one of those stands for the markets. And yeah. So as you just saw, I am about to pack another order, which is super exciting. So as you can see, they grabbed the Fallon, the Ava, and the regular scrunchie. So I'm about to find those now. So we've got the Fallon, regular, beautiful, the Ava, and the May. So I'm about to pack that now. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. Okay, sorry, I had to film this. Aren't these colors beautiful? And I'm also throwing in a freebie, of course, and my business card. I just think these colors are just stunning together. So beautiful. Hi everyone, I am back and at the moment I am just ironing on some interfacing. So I'll be doing the new pouch and this might take literally all day or also two days because I mean I'm a mum too so I've got lots of things I need to do other than my business which you know family comes first and that's totally fine um, but yeah so this might take me two days because it's already past noon right now um, and I just got into it because I had to film a few things for Instagram and stuff like that. And I also took my car for a service this morning. So this is my little setup at the moment. <laughs> I've got my coffee there um, and I'm just ironing on. So I'm just moving it around so it doesn't stay in the one place for too long. But basically, um, this is the iron-on interfacing. See those little dots? So they're almost like little dots of glue. So basically, I just need to 
Um, do it until I can't really see the dots. See, I already, um, I see some dots here, so I'm going to have to go over that again. But usually I just move it around like that. And I'm doing, as you can see, I'm doing two um, pouches at the moment, which I'm using the Amelia fabric. And then I've also got um, my Eden fabric for the lining. And I've also got my pull tabs over here, uh, which I'll be cutting soon. So I'm just ironing on some interfacing. And I thought I would let you guys know the measurements. I think I might have shown you in another video. I'm not sure. But for those of you who want to know, um, this is what the size is, um, which is a really, really nice size. But um, basically it's... 11 uh, inches by 8 inches for um, for the outside and the inside and then these pull tabs are just I think they're 2 by 8 um, and then you'll have to like cut them later but I'm sure I'll show you guys how to do that soon um, this is looking really good. So not many dots in here anymore. So that's really good. And then I'll be moving on to the next one. share with you guys what I've been up to so I've done two of these Amelia pouches I've um, I'm up to the cutting bit so as you can see I haven't cut this one in the four corners yet um, and basically I use um, one and three quarter inch um, each side um, allowing um, from the seam so from that seam and then that one's just your regular one and three quarter inches and yeah, I'm just finishing off this one now. Hi everyone. So it's now the next day and I have finished the pouches. They look so, so pretty and beautiful. And this time I actually did three um, layers of interfacing, which is quite a lot, but I think it's way better to hold its shape. So um, I'll just show you. Sorry, I had to use two hands just then to open it up. But as you can see, it's got beautiful um, lining in there, um, the Eden lining. And yeah, it's so, so great. I'm so proud of myself. So I've got two of those. I've got that one and one hanging up right there. Um, that's kind of like my little storage area at the moment. Um, but yeah, going well. I am on to a few more scrunchies today. So just leftover fabric from um, that lining and the um, outside of the pouch but yeah going well at the moment and basically just trying to get stock up and um, up and ready for the upcoming markets in spring uh, which isn't too far away so um, stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching this video see ya